today, can you look at our guiding question on the board? How does a healthy human knee move and how can materials with different properties help us design a knee brace? We're going to look at that today. How do you think studying how a healthy knee moves will help you with your design for the knee brace? When you're making your design, you don't want it to do like some stuff that a healthy knee can't do. Okay. Any of our joints go so far, right? Whether it's my elbow or my knee, that's called range of motion. What I want you to think about, everyone know where their lower leg is? Can you point to it? Below your kneecap. I like how she said that. We have a poster up here, right? So today, you're going to use a tool called a goniometer. Goniometer, right? You see how this moves? What does it move like? Okay. Okay, so this is labeled upper leg, lower leg. What do you think this represents? Kneecap. The kneecap. Okay, so do you see the paper you have? If you look at some of the tests, you might be standing or you might be sitting. Madoof, come on up. Okay, so he's going to stand and he's going to perform test A. So when he does that, I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure the range. See the numbers? We're going to try test A, and let's read the directions. Bend the lower leg backwards. And see, now I'm going to put this right here. Put it down. Two and a half. Okay. If the knee doesn't move at all in a direction, put a zero in the zone box. Once you've completed the healthy knee, you can ask me or Miss Rosa for the injured knee. Is there anyone who has any questions before you start? Okay, let's see. Um. I can't do that all the time. Bend the front of your lower leg towards the front of the upper leg. I cannot do that. I'm done. I cannot do that. Okay, then you got a zero. Then. I got three like around here. Wait. This is outside. That looks so nasty. Outside goes on the top. It's so cool. I know. Feel it. My turn. I got three. So we only have a few minutes. What movements does a healthy knee allow you to do? It can move in different directions. Can you be more specific? Like, if you want to bend your knee, it will go backwards. So the, the bottom part of my leg? Okay. What does it not allow for? What does it not allow? Melanie. It doesn't allow your side to be straight and then like for you to go like that. You need, your hips need to move. So, so that you need to have the hip involved. For certain parts of it to move. On test B, we couldn't rotate our um, leg to be like that high because our kneecap couldn't go all the way up like that. Okay, so what structures allow your knee to move? Um, Bianchi? Your joints. Your joints. Anything else? Ligaments. What did you notice that was different when we had the injured knee? What did you say when I gave it to you, Adam? It, like when I look at it, it kind of makes me feel hurt because I've never seen a knee they do like strange stuff like that. Yeah, so it made you kind of cringe, didn't it? You didn't like that. It did something that ours doesn't. It bent it like all the way back, and it, it looks disgusting because a, a regular knee doesn't do that. When you recorded in the zones, were, were there any differences in the healthy knee versus the injured knee? For the healthy knee, we got a three for the zone, and for the injured knee, we got a two because it bent it back. It bent backwards. Did you enjoy that activity? Yeah. Take a look up here, and I posted your design challenge, nice and loud, Alexis. You are you, you are going to work as a 
by medical engineers to design a knee brace for a model of an engineer. So that's your design challenge. Okay, so what I want to do right now is um, I think you guys might be ready to look at some materials. Remember yesterday we discussed properties? Yeah. Properties, Madhuv, can you help us out? Like the properties are like kind of like the way it is and the way it feels like the property of um, tape is like sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with you. I'm gonna model it and we're gonna work on it together and then you guys are gonna get a bag of materials and you're gonna look at the properties of them. Then after we look at the, the properties, we're gonna figure out if you know the materials would be something you might use to design a knee brace. So I have materials for knee braces. What's my material? What's the property of the tape? What did you give me? Sticky. Anaya? Long lasting. Look at all the properties just for one type of material. Okay, you, you guys did a great job on the properties. How could you change the shape of the material? How could you change the shape of the material? Ed? Cutting it. Cutting it. How could you use this in a knee design brace. How could you use this to help you? Melanie. You can, but it could be like a different type of tape. It could be like duct tape, because the tape is strong and it doesn't get as easily. You can use something to stick it together. Something. To hold things together, okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for now. And you guys are going to continue on with this. Fill out the chart with information about the properties of each of the materials you can use in your knee brace design. Okay, so there is, tell me the materials. That is a, a, a pipe cleaner. A pipe cleaner. Two pieces of cloth. Two pieces of cloth. There's one, two, three, four, five. We could eat. We have um, a paper clip. Crafts. Two different kinds of paper clips. I don't know what this is called. Cloth. Um, felt. Yeah, it, it's that hard. You can't hurt people with it. Yeah, you can. If you, if you bend, or it's, it's bendable. It, yeah, it's flex, bendable. It's bendable. How could you change the shape of the material by bending it and stretching it? Who could give me another material? Melanie just said Velcro, and I want to put that up here because that's not something that you've worked with before. Who can give me a property of Velcro? So you have one side that's rough, right? What's the other side? Can someone tell me what the other side is? Valerie? The other side is like um, kind of smooth. Okay. Okay. How could I use the Velcro in a knee brace design? Like a strap. For a strap? Okay. So I want to make sure that you're familiar with all of those materials. For some students, it's, it's hard to work in groups, and they really want to work on their own. So it kind of pushes them outside their comfort level. But when they see the other students doing it, they very much want to be involved. I mean, middle school, they're going to be working on group projects. High school, college, we all know, you know when you're in your working environment, whether you're a teacher in a building or whether you're you know, working for a major company, you're working in groups, and they need to learn that there's give and take and it's not always your idea or maybe you're building on someone else's idea.